Lynn and uh, Bray is um, beneath the George Bray. There we go. And the uh, George Bray uh, closure. And uh, the Bray's, uh, I'm sorry, the, the trouser, trousers have a flap that covers the belt. I'm not sure if that was done to hide the belt's cheapness or style um, or fashion. But um, that, that seemed to be as part of the artifact as well, the piece of the um, my addition to the outfit, um, maybe for the uh, safety and OSHA standards, is, um, is the foot. Um, I added a burlap piece, which helps, I guess, um, with the wear of the foot. If, if the foot were all wool on the bottom, I imagine an expensive part to make out for like this, but wear it quickly and we have to replace it. Um, any questions? How many people were on your team? Um, actually, I think the whole room. They <laughs> helped me quite a bit. Um, all the laurels and judges came by, and they really added, you know, all their great information. And it really, you know, breaks me up to think that, you know, everyone's just out there to help, and it's just a great experience. And I really, if you haven't taken part in the Golden Seamstress, I really advise that you should. How much sewing experience have you had? Um, I, uh, <laughs> my wife and I got the house of Verna Viking, uh, Verna, uh, for the purpose of, of her using it to make drapes and me occasionally using it. Well, she's never used it. I've been making bow ties, probably, uh, the only thing that I really stitched on it until uh, recently. And, uh, it won't be the last thing I'll do. <laughs> and to answer the question, he actually did all of the hard work and he did all of the sewing. Well, there's, there's a lot of a lot to the process, and I think we all share. And, and other than this, all he's done is made his fighting yeah. The fit on the thigh of those trousers is excellent. Did you have any revisions that you had to do for I, your cutting uh, and measuring? For this week, yeah, I think we all prepared for hard for, for our patterns, and I made um, quite a few uh, practice patterns because the piecing is just kind of difficult. Yeah. Um, you can't really tell sometimes with these uh, these um, documents how um, a certain turn is made or what really the correct perspective is for, for these. So it takes a little bit of practice and guesswork, which we all have experienced. And um, I guess I got it kind of right because it's supposed to be a very slim, tight-fitting uh, garment. And is it wool? It is wool.